We are back at the Fine Home Building House in Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm here with Albert, the project manager. Albert, the place is coming along since I was here last. Yes, so we've got drywall in, we've got pre-finished flooring is in place, we're starting to put some millwork elements. One in. thing you notice about this house and experience in other passive houses is it's very quiet. You can't hear the outside at That's all. That's right. Well, in addition to all the thermal insulation we're doing to achieve passive house, the owners also wanted a lot of acoustic separation between rooms. So we have Rockwell acoustic insulation every floor and all pretty much all the interior walls as well. The partition walls too? Partition walls as well, wow, yes, absolutely. And the windows have got to make a difference too, right? Oh yeah, well the triple pane windows make a really big difference for keeping outside noise down to a minimum. The kitchen is obviously coming along. I was wondering about the cabinets. They're not like anything I've ever seen before. They don't have a front. Right, that's right. That's the look that the owners want. Kind of a minimalist. This is actually a cabinetry from Denmark. So it came in just a few very large pieces that we assembled on site. White oak with a dovetail joinery in the corners. I kind of like the rustic nature of it. Tell me about the, the countertop, if you would, please. Well, so what we have right now, at this point, we have some of the Lou de Savoie Italian marble installed in the backsplash and the counters on that side. It's going to be a large French range that will be in the middle there. And then on this side, we have the sink and the dishwasher. And uh, this is getting a solid surface material countertop with an integrated custom-built sink. You know, compared to the original kitchen, this is such an improvement. Yeah, we've changed the whole location of the kitchen yeah. to make use of the uh, natural light. When do you think the countertop will be here? Uh, probably about two weeks. They're building the sink and putting it all together now. Albert, I've never seen flooring protection like this. What is this stuff? Uh, it's called Floratex. I was looking for a floor protection that would go over our pre-finished floors because we still have a lot of work to do in the house. And uh, I wanted something that is breathable but keeps any liquid from getting to the floor, paint spills it's, and that kind of thing. It has a nice feel to it. It's soft, it's got a kind of plastic protection on it, but it's not, a, you know, obnoxious. Right, and it's very lightly self-adhesive, so you just roll it out and step on it a bunch and it stays right in place, but then will remove without any damage. Has it held up well? Yes, it has. It's very hard to tear, actually. I found that out, so. That's cool. And it doesn't hurt that it says Albert on it. No. <laughs> Albert, this is the master bathroom. Can you give me a layout of where the fixtures will be? Okay, so we're gonna have a freestanding tub over here with a tub filler in the corner. We're standing in the shower. And, and this is gonna be a, few a glass partition yeah, there? Yeah, be glass partition there and one here. So you, this, this is all waterproof. Can you tell me about how that goes together? Yeah, so we treated the entire area with the shower and the bath as a wet room. So we use the Schluter curdy board and membranes on all of these walls and the floor. And you were telling me earlier that this is curdy board here too. This is actually like styrofoam yeah, uh, tile backer, right? Yeah, two inch thick curdy board that you can build benches out of. So that's what we did. And then after we've waterproofed everything, then we actually put uh, another layer with heated floor. So there's a heating coil going just under the tile here. That's that cool. We'll make a warm floor and dry it out. So this is all marble, right? No, it's, this is porcelain tile. What? This is large format, very thin quarter inch porcelain tile from Spain. Wow. Comes in four by eight and four by four sheets. We used a glossy four by eight sheet for the walls. It's a honed finish on the floor. The advantage of this versus natural stone is it doesn't stain like natural stone it does, right? Isn't that? Right. I mean, it's harder to work with because it's so fragile, but it's a lot lighter than stone, stone and, a, and a tile uh, contractor with the right training can install it. Huh. And how big are the pieces when they come to the site? Four feet by eight feet. And you were telling me that this is a similar material, but it's got a concrete finish on yeah, it. Yeah, but it's also porcelain tile, the concrete look. That's also about a quarter inch thick. Boy, it's gonna be fantastic. I can't wait to see it with the fixtures in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 